Oh boy. This helmet's never been laid down. This is a finishing nail. Poor I'm dude. gonna die. <laughs> Crap. I wanna go again. This video is sponsored by Raycon. Welcome back from Texas, buddy. Thanks, bud. It's my understanding you uh, picked up a couple of bikes that have been on our wish list for years. Absolutely. Let's yes, check sir. them out. It's the big brother to the Honda Trail 70, AKA the ST90. You don't see these things a lot. No. But when you do, they're usually pretty pricey. Yeah, and, and I, I've actually got access to a few more but I ran out of room in the bus, but I did get this frame and, and I love this color, this frame. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this one's gonna be perfect for like some sort of rat rod project. And you're probably wondering why. I am, I see a little yeah. dent up top. Okay, so come on out here where the color really gleams. Yeah, there's a dent up top here. Mm. Which I think I can fix. Yeah. But the biggest thing is, look at the whole. Oh, wow. I mean, the frame is absolute Swiss cheese. Cancer. And it's everywhere. The whole thing is just eat, slam up. I don't know why someone would waste their time putting a beautiful powder coat powder job coat on, on, something on something with Swiss like cheese. This. Yeah. So this frame is not really worth anything to like anybody but us exactly no. so we're we're gonna make something out of the out of this so uh, uh thank you aaron for all the parts but it's like the big brother to the trail 70s the frames look the same there is a difference though because the trail 70s don't have that hole for i'm guessing the wiring and stuff but it's got the bigger wheels and tires which is nice and and it's a 90 check out the handlebars i put it in storage yeah. there you go so all it right it's like regular size handlebars but they can twist for putting away in your car well let's take a look at our inventory and see if we can put one of these together sounds good so here's our chassis here is the bike we are trying to put together and ride all right, look, all right, and the guys are going through all kinds of pop parts. Oh, you did. You that did thing looks say fantastic. You had a really nice one. Yeah. That looks like it got taken off in the 80s. So you think we can do it, fellas? I mean, look, we already got the toolbox well, for the bike, we, so. We ran into a problem already, though. Oh, yeah. The engine. Uh, the engine. There's a, a, the box with the engine in it, and it has a crack in the uh, jug. Oops. Big board kit. Uh, I don't think they make them for the 90s. That's a Kansas license plate from 87. Uh, there it is right there. You can see the crack right there. Uh, it's not good for business. And you can see it on the inside there, right, right there in front of my finger. It's so, a Honda, it'll be fine. <laughs> so this is no good. So, But we have an entire engine in a box. And then here, Joe, here's a piece. Uh, a replacement part for your favorite bike. CT70? Yeah, and same color too. Nice. I guess the lower triple tree. Oh yeah. Yeah, so. I want to see a nice air box. Oh. Oh wow. Wow. Is the bug on there? Oh no, it's just. Hopefully it's not a tarantula. Have you opened it? No. Oh. You guys hear that? No. No, sleigh bells or something? I, I, well, I guess it's a little early for Santa. You listening to Christmas music? Well, yeah. Uh, these Raycon earbuds are sweet, and you guys get some pairs too. So thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Everyone knows Raycon for their awesome everyday earbuds, but now they are the king when it comes to making reliable technology across the board for great prices. Not only durable earbuds, but portable speakers, high-speed chargers, faucet filters, and more. Their products have thousands of five-star reviews, and they offer free returns, free shipping, and buy now, pay later options. Raycon is the perfect place to snag last-minute holiday gifts. And right now, Raycon is offering limited-time bundles on some of their best-selling products. 
you gotta check them out. The Everyday Earbuds 3X kit is all it took for our whole shop here to be decked out with our own pairs of Everyday Earbuds. They come in a ton of different colors, are water resistant, noise isolating, and have a bunch of other features too. Also, they comfortably stay in my ears with the gel tips, so I like to use them all around the shop when I'm passing time by catching up on all my favorite YouTube channels without bothering anyone around me. I've also been eyeballing the Impact Audio Kit lately because the ultra durable Impact earbuds would be perfect for wild places like Busco Beach, and I'd love to have the dust and water resistant Impact speaker to jam out with wherever I am after long days of chaos. Plus, it's magnetic, so I could just plop it on the truck, on the wall, on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix leaderboard, wherever I want. So this holiday season, get premium audio and power tech at a great price and save even more doing it. Go to buyraycon.com slash cars to get 15% off site-wide. Every Raycon order from you all helps support our channel so we can keep making awesome videos here with you. We appreciate it. Thank you again to Raycon for the holiday deals and for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. So we were going through all of our uh, parts and it looks like we don't have everything that we need to get this bike running. The engine is toast. It's got a cracked, uh, uh, it's got a cracked jug. So the piston is just gonna leak on through. So we have no engine, but we have a engine. It might be three or four times the horsepower that we had on this originally so we have a John what is it Zongzen 212 5-speed a Zongzen 212 5-speed so this thing Two valve. it's gonna be massive and powerful on this frame so we're gonna try to wedge that engine in this thing and get get this thing running and riding today <laughs> I love the way you laughed right there. Uh, no, I was like, so, oh, that was news to me. I love it. <laughs> so we're going to uh, go ahead and... Huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was news to all of us. <laughs> the sun goes down in two hours. Uh, we got this. We're professionals. So, so we're going to throw this thing together. We have uh, a wiring harness that we don't even know if it belongs with this engine. We have a headlight bucket. We've got just all kinds of parts. Let's just start throwing this thing together and maybe something will come out of it. So what we have here is a two valve. Look at this thing. Uh, 212 Zongzan. I really prefer the silver engines over the black, but you know, it's cool. Nothing wrong with this. As long as it runs and hasn't been dropped. Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right, let's, let's take it over to the bike and see what we got. Now this engine is not gonna fit we're gonna have to make some adapter plates to uh, get it in that frame. All right, so we need to prop this bike up and then we need to hold the, the engine up in there and see uh, what we've got to do to make it fit. Okay. Tag up. Dude, that looks so the, good. So the plates really aren't gonna be that. Boys, we are in business. Yep. So we're about a thousand dollars into a free bike already. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and plenty of room for. I'm guessing, yeah, carburetor. Yeah. You know, we we kind of had an issue. I mean, this is going to be a freaking rocket ship, dude. That engine is massive, even on this bike. Yeah, it's. I can't wait, dude. Chain alignment looks good too. I bet you the 140 would be the perfect motor for this thing. Probably so. And I'd just skip all the way over it. And for those of you guys wondering, it's 212 cc's, but it's totally different than a Predator 212. I mean, yeah. or until it's in 212. So like this thing makes 20 horsepower, maybe a little more. It revs all the way up to 10,000 or something like that. These are they're wild little motors. They're sweet when they're running right. Yeah, we seem to keep having problems with them. Yeah. So is it what, what's the size of a Grom? Uh, 125. Oh wow! So this is bigger than this Grom. will spank a Grom. Yes. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, we're calling Not that I'm boys be out. Any... So before we go fabricating uh, motor mounts for this thing, we're going to start by plopping the bike on its side over there so we can get a good deep clean and see just how much of this beautiful old orange candy paint is going to come back. Oh, look at that. So much color came out just when it got wet. Fibers. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, we, we can be gentle. 
I got a brush for down here. Yeah, scrubbing. Very nice, very nice. All right. That's, that's like where the chain goes through and everything, so that's to be expected. Oh yeah, filthy. Oh no, look at that, the simple green's lipped in the blue. Oh dear. Okay, let's get it off of there. Hey man, a little bit of chrome polish and this thing's gonna be good as new. Oh no, yeah look, it's not bad at all. Wow. I mean, it's got it's it's got a few blemishes, but for what how it looked versus what I just did, it's not too bad. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Restored. <laughs> Barn find. Wait, did we ruin the sticker that bad? No. Did the other side look that good? No, it didn't. This okay. this side was way better. But we're gonna not spray. We're gonna avoid the sticker this time. We're not gonna spray simple green on that one. Oh yeah, the whole paint is in so much better shape on this side. Yeah. Okay. It's got that sunburn look. It's gonna be uh, so good. fast. Wonder if Ike's gonna notice. I know. Yeah, it actually. Here, let me get off of it so you can see the cut. That's the good side. It's not bad. So uh, we are working on assembling kind of all the accessory items. So like the brakes, trying to find throttle cable, twist grip, kill switch, hardware. hardware. Yeah. Exactly. So in our pile over there, there was a brand new front brake cable. So I'm going to see if this tire holds air. And if it does, then I'm going to try to install the front brake cable so we can have a front brakes. <laughs> How much should we put in though? That's Ten? fine. Okay, eight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the older tire, so. Yeah. All right, well, now there's seven. That's all right. That's 14. Okay, good. Really pushing your luck. Well, this one looks better than the back tire. Front tire. All right, it doesn't sound like it's leaking. Oh wow. We gotta... Wanna do that again? Oh boy. Well, 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 we'll get that figured out. So, the engine doesn't fit in. The CT70 style engines have a two bolt uh, to the frame. This one has three. So the, uh, the 90s have three bolts. Well, we don't have the 90 to go in it, so we're putting this one in. So we gotta go from the three bolt to a two bolt. And that's what this is right here. I've been working on making a bracket that fits right in here with the bolt holes to go from three bolt to a two bolt. So we're gonna go take this, and we're gonna go into the DGR room, and we're gonna cut out the uh, a metal uh, bracket. Do you need two of them? I need two of them. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So dual of them. Hey. The boys found the right bolt and got it in. That's a lot tighter than what it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's what you want. Yeah, right there. I think they, I think what happened was they've been riding around with that bolt in it, and so the the bushings got damaged from all the flopping around. That's all right. Uh oh. What? Oh wow, that is really bad. They Someone did a just fine job on that. Just. Oh my gosh. You know, this this bike will make a really nice rat rod. Goodness gracious. It's just got too much wrong with it. Yeah. They put a toggle switch. Yeah, the toggle switch was great. That was cars and cameras approved. We should put one back. You want to? No, I don't know. It's your bike. I'm fine with it. So we made our bracket for the engine and we got everything like hopefully done right i did want to put some braces across but i, I think it's going to be okay because the mounting positions with our bolts are just so close uh it, it's going to be fine the case is actually going to be act as our cross braces so we're going to take this and we're going to shove it up in the hole and hopefully all the bolts line up 
You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Got to go down with the front and up with the rear. This went from just reviving a free ST90 to the coolest ST90 build I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Mainly thing. because you never see ST90s. People don't do ST90 builds. Yeah. And uh, this engine looks like it's fitting in there so nice. Oh, yeah. And the adapter plate is turning out so nice. Very cool. <clears throat> I don't so think can... you can fit that engine any tighter with an adapter plate. Yeah. No, we're going to have to make it another adapter to put the carburetor on, but that's okay. That's okay. I mean, that's not Sorry. Bad. Custom intake manifold. Yeah, it's like two different intakes. Ike's taking a brand new performance exhaust. Chucking it up in the lathe. Chucking it up in the lathe, if you know what I mean. Hey, Ike, <laughs> don't, yeah. leave the, don't leave the chuck in the head. Okay. Don't leave, yeah. All right. Leave. All right. so mad when I do that. Yeah. Don't worry, I won't. Oh yeah, there you go. That's with inspect. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I take that personally. I know you do. Buddy. I'm like while working on the lathe. Hey, don't leave that in there. <laughs> Holy cow. First shot. Hey. Beautiful. Mm. And we know this is a Trail 70 exhaust, but uh, it's going to flow a it's lot a, better. This is ST, the seat. It's ST90 exhaust today. This, yeah. This is the thumper exhaust. And we had like three of them up in the attic, so. Yeah, it's a, basically a straight through. It's gonna flow a lot better than a stock ST90 so exhaust, yeah. And then I'm gonna move this bracket over here and we're gonna be good to go. I mean, it's gonna look like a grown up Trail 70. So the factory foot pegs do not fit. Uh, this is a 190, it's got the five speed, so it's a lot wider. Ah, uh, it's a 212. My bad, it's a 212. So. Charles is having to uh, fabricate some kind of quick and dirty foot pegs. Yeah. So we can go riding. Oh God. So basically I centered this pipe up and ended up being two feet dead even. So centered it up right there on the case or whatever. And um, now we're just gonna see if I need to like bend these up or wherever. And we've got some real sweet Go Power Sports foot pegs. I'm gonna try and put on here. So maybe maybe it'll look halfway decent. So this is totally homemade. We got some Go Power Sports split collars. On Go our Power Sports. Yeah. Go Power Sports gussets. Yes, yeah, some gussets that are discontinued. Some some gussets, and we can just aim that wherever we want. Yeah. Dude, can we? That's put, gonna be really sweet. Yeah. Can we put like an LED in there, or something? Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right, good. All right, boys. We're yeah. ready to plug stuff in and then start figure out figuring out what we forgot to plug in. I am ready for that. We can put some fuel in it. I would love to hear this thing run today. Yeah. I think we... Yeah, we're going to have to kickstart it. I mean, we can hook, probably hook up the battery real quick. Here's the... You know what uh, we read about these ST90s is this was a three-year-only bike. Really? They, yeah, yeah. They, it was 73, 74, and 75. And uh, they just didn't take off like the Trail 70, yeah. so oh, they okay. discontinued it. And the CT90 just exploded. So it's a little bit of an, an oddball. Of course, there are rare Honda bikes. Okay. I may have not drilled that enough, I don't know. Oh, it's turning. Uh, where's the, uh... Headlight. Yeah, that should be, uh... I don't think we have something hooked up right. Here we go!
Oh. So uh, I mean, we also me. we also nice. we also don't know how that carburetor's jetted. Yeah, it's right That's off the just shelf. Twenty eight from Go Power Sports, right off the shelf. Yep. Um, so we'll fool with it. Yeah, and we're having problems with the ignition switch, so we had to do some hot wiring. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Oh yeah. But, you know, pat on the back for it starting up. This helmet's never been laid down. It's still twenty years old. It's. Yep. Whatever. It shows my face. I am so ready to ride. The bike ain't even off the, the lift. table yet. It looks so good, man. I'm, I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. Coming down. I hope it rides good. I hope it does too, man. The front end is very soft. Yeah? Um, dude, I gotta do something right now with the, uh, the shifter. No, nah, the clutch cable keeps getting pinched. Oh. But on the uh well, that, the steering stop. I routed it so zip ties. I was like, how do we how do we adjust this? Like what what are you talking about? He's like, take the cotter pin out. I'm like, what cotter pin? This is a finishing nail. But it works the same. So <laughs> I'm not I'm not hating. It could be a seventeen. I got it. The front end feels way better now. And the tires are still holding air. Yeah. So so happy with that. That's great. So check the back brake. Just see how far you have to push yep. that. I just wanted you to test it's it before a, you go yeah. for a ride. Yeah. Here we go. Adjust the clutch, I'm assuming. Adjust the clutch, I guess. Okay. What? Yeah, I just installed it, so I didn't didn't test it. My bad. Oh, and that, oh, wow. the handle's still loose. Oh, I'm dear. gonna die. <laughs> Amateur hour. Who built this bike? Watch yourself. You want me to push it? I got it. Unstick the clutch on the fly. Oh, well, spoke too soon. You wanna, uh, you wanna push start it? There. Real quick. quick. Big dog. Dude, this thing is so fast. Yeah, I bet. This 
think it so hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. Is this camera rolling? On your head? Yeah. Uh, there isn't one on your head. Oh, okay. That's all right. Wow. I'm, um, glad, you're, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. I'm trying to find neutral. That's all right. Responsive. Very responsive. So, uh, I think the, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, might be a little tight. Um, I'd like to take it down the road. <laughs> Save it for a hot lap. Okay. And I think this is a full safety gear vehicle right here. It really is. <laughs> this thing is so fast. Awesome. I can't notice it yet, but it'll be five, four, three, two. Dude, you almost died. Oh, I already saw that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't do it. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Okay, there's a washer on this yeah, there's side. There's supposed to be so. a washer. All right. Well, so we'll, we'll fix that. Yeah, before we do a hot lap. Yeah. I, I like you, buddy. <laughs> Y'all might not have seen that, but uh, John got a little sideways there for a split second. I think John's going to really like the bike. Uh, ST90 is a really cool bike. I don't know why they only went for a three-year run. The uh, public were they, were, they were idiots for not liking that bike. <laughs> I'll get you, man. I'll get you, bud. You ready? All right, here we go. I'm gonna push your back. Yep. Here we go. All right. All right, we got the rear brakes kind of fixed. Wow, that's all just spinning back there. Wild times. Ugh. Boy. Dusty. Hey, we didn't put any fuel in it. You want to risk it for the biscuit? Sure. Okay. Are you going to be ready for a hot lap? Sure. Really? Uh, yeah. I don't have much feet fuel problem. Sounds like he's taking it easy, and then he's going to get on it. Oh, oh, that was a wiggle. That was such a wiggle. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Sounded like he was done with it. So I'm hoping he did a pretty good time. Was that your warm up? You, you ready to go again? That. Huh? You can have that. What, what's wrong? No, thank you. What's wrong? Oh, it's like everything else is in reality, but the rear tire is just on ice. Well, we need to put another tire on it. Yep. 
and I don't need to die at work today. Really? So how do you think you did? Badly. Really? Do you think you bit, beat the, uh, the motorized bicycle? No. Seriously? Well, considering you just brought it up, I'm going to say no. Out of all the other things you could have brought up. <laughs> I just brought it up. That's all. All right. Well, uh, I guess I can go next. Yeah, if you want. Oh, yes. Don't I'm recommend. Ready. Well, what are you talking about? I think it's gonna be great. I didn't mean to sound rude to the old ST90 guys. I love my old Hondas. This is just too much motor for this track and the tires are too darn old. Put this thing on the street, it's gonna be awesome. This, a little too sketchy for me. Ready? All right, on your mark, get set, go. That was a spicy launch. Dude, did he put the two-step kit on that thing? Nice. Very cool. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost crashed it there too. Yeah. Good? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll bring the you, man. I hurt my butt. Oh, hurt butt. snap. Oh. Oh. Are you okay, friend? Uh, my right buttock hurts. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get the bike this off. This is the photo as old as time right here. Oh, ready? You're good. I want to go again. Dude, this, this is, I should have warned you, man. This was the can hairiest we the, part. Should we get the broom? It's the leaves. It's like, or something? <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Should I get anything immediately you know, off this? Is that right? where he landed? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, it's where, I think that's where he landed. I'm okay. Thank you. Is the bike okay? I think so. I'm proud. Just broke oh, the brake lever. We broke the brake lever. Oh, dang it, that's our only one. Uh, all right, clutch. What are we caught on? He's caught, uh, caught on the hay bale. You all right? Here, I got you. Yeah, I'm okay. Just hang tight. That looks like, for a, for a place to crash, that looks like a pretty soft place. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. It's a good place to go. I highly recommend it. Uh, well, good job, buddy. I'm not Glad done you're okay. I'm not done yet. I know. Yeah. Right, you're all right. So we got right. to try to fix the front brake. Yeah, we're going I can for sweep a, this off. We're going for a 58 no, next lap. 58. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll just take it easy through the woods. Okay. You were yeah. trucking. Yeah. yeah. It's it sounded good. It did. Yeah. It sounded really yeah. good. All right. All right. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So we got a new front brake lever on there, and Ike wants to go again. Did I bend was, the uh, shifter? He was. Uh, yeah. It kind of looks like it. Yep. Let the shifter. I think I bent the shifter. Oh, uh, no, it was like that. Was it? Be safe. But take it easier. Take it easier, yeah. please. On your mark, get set, go. I'm going to take it easier. Can't tell you how many times I heard that. pretty quick.
What an absolute ripper. I don't think that's as fast as he was hoping for. Huh. You happy with that? Uh, um, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the time, with the conditions that we have. We are extremely limited by rear tire. Huge limited limitation with the tire. Because when you hit the uh, leaves, it's like you're in the snow. Yeah. Uh, it's a sweet little bike, man. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Did you get me going sideways? Yeah. <laughs> Cool, man. Well, let's get our times on the board. All right. So the Honda ST90. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. It's just, it needs tires. It honestly needs a redemption round. So if you enjoyed the episode of the Honda ST90, leave a thumbs up on this episode and let us know down in the comments. Uh, I think it needs new wheels and tires, or new tires and tires. tubes. Yeah. It needs a working headlight. We need to make it street legal. And a redemption round around the Grand Prix to get this thing under a minute along with all these fast bikes because it certainly has the horsepower needs brakes needs some brake work so i know ike's time ike knows my time i do we're gonna say them each one digit at a time all right on three ready all right one two three one 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 two three zero, zero. one two three six, six. one two three three seven. ah so i got them by three tenths with a 106 31 it's already on the board it's just it's down, down there, there. So, ST90 redemption round. Yeah. It's got to happen. Awesome yeah. looking bike. The patina is really cool. Shout out to our buddy Aaron for hooking us up with the bike. Uh, and the, uh, the Zongzan 212 is a sweet little unit, I got to say. It performed a lot better than I imagined. I was uh, thinking it wasn't going to perform like it did, but this thing is a rocket ship. It packs a punch. Yeah. Absolutely. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Again, leave a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Hey, dude. Hey, man. How's it going? Oh, quick friendly reminder. Today's the last day if you want to pick up one of my handmade land speed bike ornaments on cars-cameras.com. Just get them while they last. Yep, and once the 2023 ones are sold at the end of today, they're gone forever. And just thank you so much. Got to say that. I can't, can't say that enough. I yeah, really man. appreciate it. It's a yearly you. tradition, buddy. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, we might as well get a sneak peek on what's going on in here. Oh, yeah. But that's just true. a sneak peek. Oh, boy. We got KJ Racing, Dune Buggy Dave, Jump Cable Dads here all week trying to build this. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to go ahead and disagree with Ike and say that the black engine is the better choice here. It looks really cool. Black and orange? Yeah. I think that's that is a cool combo. I mean I think silver is just what he's what he's been used to. Right.